Hi, welcome back to Android and iOS apps for your WordPress blog. So now that we are done with the installation of our WordPress blog and we are done with the process of configuration of our WordPress blog, now it's time to get started with our Ionic application. So first things first, we need to download and install Node.js from Node.js.org. Once you are done with the installation of Node.js, which is pretty straightforward, you need to install Ionic and Cordova. You can either use command prompt or you can use the git bash like I'm using right here to install Ionic and Cordova. So you can use npm which is node package manager to install Ionic and Cordova. This command right here npm install Ionic G will install Ionic globally using the node package manager on your machine. What dash G does it installs Ionic globally which means that you can access Ionic throughout your machine without requiring to be in a particular folder. You can also install Ionic and Cordova in a single line of command which is npm install Ionic Cordova dash G. This will install Ionic and Cordova globally. Once you are done with this installation process, just go ahead, create a new folder somewhere. I have created a similar folder and it's called Udemy. So I want to create an Ionic application inside this folder. So I'll use the Ionic CLI which is Ionic start. Start is the command that we use to create a new Ionic application and next we need to specify a name for this application. So I'm gonna name it WordPress Ionic and finally I'll specify the name of the template that we want to use. We want to use the blank template which means that our application will be pretty much blank. There are other templates available than blank which you can use in your applications. So just go ahead and press enter and this will go ahead and create a new folder inside the folder Udemy and will configure our Ionic application. Once this is done, we'll proceed by running our application and test it out. So as you can see, a new folder WordPress Ionic has been created inside the Udemy folder and this will be our project folder. You can see that the download has completed and now it's initializing our Cordova project. This is basically a configuration operation that happens every time you create a new application. So we are done with the process of creation of our Ionic application. We can now browse this folder. So as you can see we have a number of folders here but the one that we are concerned is this www folder. It contains all the HTML files, JavaScript files, CSS files and images that we'll use in our application. So you can see that we have an index.html right here. This will be the home page of our application. So now let's head back to git bash once again and try running this application and in order to run this application we need to change the current directory to the one that contains our project. In our case, it is WordPress Ionic. Once we are inside this directory, all I need to do is type in Ionic Serve. Ionic Serve will execute our project inside our browser. Since it detects that I have two network interface cards, I'll select the one with the IP address. And it opens my browser and you'll see that my application is running. So this is our application. It is pretty much blank. As you can see on the top we have a header called Ionic Blank Starter and it contains pretty much nothing. Another way to test out your application is Ionic Serve dash dash L. This will also run your project inside the browser but will show you how your application will look exactly on a mobile device. It will show you two versions of your application one as it would look on an iOS device and other one as it would look on an Android device. As you can see the application does not contain anything much but it has a header and it has a text on the header Ionic Blank Starter. So that's it for this video. In the next video we'll go ahead and create some necessary files for our project and then we'll start with the process of coding.